So I got something that I think is going to be pretty special in the mail. So a lot of you, I would assume you're familiar with City Rhythm if you clicked on this video. It's not like it's a secret that we're talking about the newest release from City Rhythm called Barcelona. So now I sent this my way. I have seen the note card. It's got an interesting note breakdown. He actually sent me a picture of a sparkling wine, red wine, cherry, pomegranate, rose, chocolate. I mean, look at this note breakdown. There's potential for some ridiculous greatness in this bottle. So I'm eager to check this out. Just because Niall sent it my way doesn't mean I won't have negative things to say. If I don't like it, I don't like it. But I have a feeling I'm really going to like this just based off that note card and previous experience with City Rhythm. So let's get into this. Stay tuned. Niles always does it up with his presentations. I gotta say the magnetic flip top with the wax seal has the jewel that uh, he started doing that with uh, St. John. Virgin Island, Virgin Islands fragrance. I'm gonna have to do this for it to focus. And then it being highly reflective doesn't help. There you go, it's in Barcelona. So I typically don't use these. They go around the bottle for anybody that cares. You can see the bottle sitting nice in the soft foam because you're supposed to put it here, hang it on the bottle. I typically don't, but it's there for those that want the bottle bling, as I'd like to call it. But I've always liked Niles's bottles ever since he upgraded to these because the color of the juice always reflects in this. It looks like a mountain. Have a yellow colored juice. Look at that plate. It's like postage. Barcelona 50 ml EDP. Essencia de Passion. It's textured too. It's embossed and debossed. So there's raised portions. Definitely stepped up. Upgraded the plates. Okay. And he upgraded his caps a while back. Has this uh, wood look to it. Hard plastic, basically, with a little bit of metal. And he's got phenomenal atomizers. Watch this. Great atomizers. <whistles> a lot of sparkling wine. Like champagne, almost. Like bullet, like a little bit of the bubbly. I've never smelled anything like It's obviously hovering in the air. Never smelled anything like this before. Beautiful atomizer. So let me read these notes off to you guys. Sparkling wine, pomegranate, bitter orange, red wine, cherry, and rose, cedar, sandalwood, amber, chocolate, and musk. I've never seen a note pyramid like this. Sparkling wine and red wine together. That's interesting as it is, let alone combine that with all this fruitiness of cherry and pomegranate. Very juicy fruit, rich, fruity tone. I think I get more of the red wine than anything else. Out in the air, I got this, the, the fizziness, the sparkling wine accord. But on skin directly, I get a lot of this pomegranate cherry like fruitiness. And I think the red wine stands out more. I actually get the chocolate already too. It's a little chocolatey. Chocolate covered cherries. Kind of? Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. A chocolate covered cherry. So very much a gourmand. I would absolutely call this a gourmand. Hmm. Super unique. Now, admittedly, it doesn't strike me as high wearability for me in my daily life. Not like something like uh, St. John would be, or Manhattan, or even like in either of the Miamis, Tropical Seduction or Tropical Confessions, 2654. Like the wearability is a lot higher. I feel like this is more situational for the evenings. I like it. I appreciate it. I'm not in love with it, though. Got to be straight with you guys. I'm not in love with it. 
and appreciate that chocolate covered cherry smell though because i don't have another fragrance that smells like this the uniqueness alone garners a ton of respect at least for me imagine city rhythm barcelona as that perfect evening where you're sipping cava with friends or a lover embracing the festive vibes and losing yourself on the dance floor all while being intoxicated by your lover's enticing scent quote this sparkling wine blend kicks off with a burst of pomegranate and citrus, followed by a heart that weaves together red wine, cherry, and wild rose for a carnal yet elegant vibe. Playfully sexy, playfully sexy for both men and women, it smoothly dances through the top, mid, and bass notes, leaving a good scent trail. The finale, soft, musky, woody goodness with a touch of creamy sandalwood and hints of chocolate, a perfect aromatic journey. I get the chocolate right off Jump Street. I get it immediately. It's very fruity. Um, as it's settling, I'm getting that sparkling wine accord more. And it smells more like champagne to me than it does just wine. I'm not a wine drinker. I'm not really much of a champagne drinker. Very few times. I can't stand the taste of champagne. Um, any of you that ever had champagne at a wedding, <laughs> never tasted a champagne I liked. But like the champagne accord that's in Remarkable People from Ital Libre d'Orange smells great really does stands out gives a brightness to it i think this is giving some some fizziness to an overall heavier thicker aroma i think that's really helping to brighten this opening up there's a little bit of a bitterness to this and i don't just mean bitter orange like uh, i believe it's the sparkling wine that's providing a little bit of, of a bitter tone with it as well and then chocolate covered cherries that's straight up what it smells like very situational fragrance. This is a lower wearability for me because I think it's very much reserved to evenings. Um, I can't imagine wanting to wear this during the day in the springtime and summer. This is more, f you know, evenings across the board, all four seasons, and more specifically fall, winter. Um, no, I would say like spring, fall, winter. Summer nights, I could see you pulling this in the right setting. Absolutely. Because it's not too heavy of a wear, but there's a thickness to it. There's a lot of sweeter notes here. It's a robust fragrance. Even though it's not a 50% oil concentration like his older stuff, it's an eau de parfum, so it's under 25% if it's an eau de parfum. It still has a thickness to it. It is getting better by the moment, though. That, that fruitiness is overtaking this fragrance. I'm getting more of a creamy tone, which is probably the sandalwood setting in more. I still get the chocolate. I got the chocolate immediately. Where I'm at with this one, I think it's in that great range. The uniqueness of it, the quality of the smell, really lends it to be in that great territory uh, at 8 out of 10. I like it quite a bit. I appreciate the uniqueness of it. I have a high level of respect for the blend here because it's so unique. But the wearability is what keeps it from nine out of, you know, being in that nine out of 10 outstanding territory because I always have to factor in practicality for my daily life. And it's not as practical for me because most of my days are more casual. Most of my evenings are semi-formal, which this will work. And I'm trying to paint the picture of how often that will be. Because even when we go to dinner, we don't necessarily always go to the fanciest of spots. Sometimes it's more of a chain restaurant. We might just go have a nice steak or something like that. Or we do a lot of beachside stuff. Much more casual vibe doing the beachside stuff. Sharkies, pineapple willies, things like that. That's a very casual vibe. Casual beachy. This isn't casual beachy. Not to me. So that's what's keeping it out of that 9 out of 10 territory. Because it's quite unique and really good. It is. It's the wearability that keeps it in 8 out of 10 territory, which is nothing to shake a stick at. 8 out of 10, great. In my rating system, you know, it's another great release. Very unique release from Niles. So, this is worth a sample. If you want to try something different, and you like gourmands, you want something a little boozy, but it's not a rum cognac kind of thing. Or brandy, like the brandy gets used a lot in fragrances now. Um, red wine and sparkling wine. Very unique uses of those accords, I gotta say. Gotta love the postcard. It's all about the touches, the details. So with Barcelona, I'm gonna go eight out of 10 great. I think that suits it. I think it's a very situational fragrance for me. 
And if anything sounded good here or anything about these notes entices you, I would definitely encourage getting a sample, getting a small travel atomizer or something. I'll have a link down below. It is not an affiliate link. That is not an affiliate code. I do not make a commission. Uh, it is just there for convenience for you guys uh, that Niles created a long time ago for the channel. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. The presentation has stepped up even more. I'm loving this plate. Plate is phenomenal. I love how a lot of the lettering is raised. Just beautiful. Atomizers, you know, top tier, upper echelon stuff. Show you guys one more time. Beautiful. Yeah, out in the air, you get a lot of that sparkling wine. It smells like popping up a open a bottle of champagne when you just spray it in the air. Kudos, Niles. Super unique. Super, super unique. I've never been to Barcelona. It may tie into the area perfectly. I just don't know because I've never been there. But I can tell you when it comes to fragrances like New Orleans Jazz and Booze, ties in perfectly the man's good at telling these stories got to give it to him so barcelona newest release from city rhythm eight out of ten well that's my early impressions my initial thoughts on the new barcelona from city rhythm fragrance once again niles i know you'll see this i appreciate you sending it in my way uh if anybody wants to check anything out like i said before there's a link down below with the code nothing's affiliated uh just a friend fan of the brand fan of the man does great work highly encouraged checking out stuff from city rhythm and if anything sounded good here today recommend checking this one out and until next time we'll see if you get your hands on barcelona and you give it a spray now you might end up thanking me later have a good one guys